And does it have a, yes, it's got a pump. Good job, Soph. Paying attention as ever. <laughs> oh, fancy seeing you here. This little room that I'm filming in is so hot. But I can't have the windows open because then you can hear the outside. We're having a bit of a heat wave here in the UK. And yes, I'm wearing a short sleeve t-shirt before people say, well, why are you wearing a jumper? I feel really weird filming this. Also, I just want to say, this background, not feeling it. Uh, things are going to switch up a bit. I think I need to switch up the order of this room. I might move my desk to this wall here. But for now, like I spent so long trying to set up all my lighting and everything. There's makeup all over the floor. I've got a cardboard box that I'm using as my little table to put my makeup on. Um, because obviously I used to just film on my bed and have it next to me. But I realized that when I'm sitting in a chair, I don't have anywhere to put my makeup. What I'm trying to say is, please bear with me. The background is going to change. I intentionally wore a colorful t-shirt uh, because I was going to do some colorful makeup. And you can't even see the t-shirt. <laughs> but... Let's just get into the video. I am just going to be chatting and playing with some new makeup. This is some pretty recent stuff, most of it anyway. I guess now is the time to move myself forward and put some makeup on my face. So, the f I mean, that works too. The first thing that I'm gonna be putting on my face is the new Revolution um, SPF 30. This one is for normal to oily skin. When I was ordering Roxy's bits, um, I decided to add this to my basket as well because the way that they actually did it is because they're not doing, well, supposedly they're not doing PR send outs at the moment. I don't know if things have changed as of recently because the XX Revolution stuff, I did get sent it um, in a box from Revolution. But with Roxy stuff, she very kindly sent me over a discount voucher to use to like spend on her products on the website. But she also said that the voucher was for up to £30 on the website. So she said to treat myself to a few other bits as well. So I got this. And I also got the powder that I'm going to be using today. Wow. Um, that feels really nice. I'm not sure how well you can tell on camera, but that's actually like kind of mattified my face. And it feels really smooth. It doesn't feel too oily. However, uh oh. Okay, you don't want to blend it too much. Uh oh, oh no. By the way, I had nothing on my face before this, just a few oils, because I washed my face about an hour ago. Um, It's starting to do that thing where it kind of like peels a little bit. That was just from the edges where I kept like rubbing to feel it. But I guess once you've blended this in, leave it alone. Okay, well it feels nice, but let's see how makeup applies over the top of it. For my primer, I've got the Too Faced Primed and Poreless pore banishing and blurring face primer. I've also got the powder from this to test and I've got another revolution powder as well because why not just put two powders on my face? I've had the packaging, that's really cute. So this says that it's a mattifying and skin smoothing formula. Ooh. Right, so it's quite a thick product. It kind of smells like cinnamon. Okay, it's very thick. It feels like I have to push it into my skin rather than swipe it because again like i don't want to disturb the moisturizer that i put on underneath but this feels very thick i mean it does feel very smoothing but it's not my favorite texture in terms of primers it's got that kind of slippery super smooth feel if you guys know what i'm talking about wow i mean it's definitely really mattified my face that has taken out a lot of shine by the way i'm sorry if you hear james in the background he's in the room right next door to me so <laughs> not my favorite but it has really mattified my face and kind of smoothed over my pores moving on to my foundation like i mentioned i've got the xx what's it called xx revolution i'm not too sure what the concept is like behind this brand but um the whole brand is cruelty free and i think a lot of their products are vegan, not every single one, but a lot of them are, or I believe so anyway. So this is the Glow Skin Foundation, faux with two X's. And this is the Luminous Foundation. They've also got a matte foundation, which I'm gonna test in the other video. If you guys wanna see it, let me know. So I'm gonna be using the shade FX 5.7. Let me just, I actually really like the packaging. It looks quite high end. It's glass, it's square. And does it have a, yes, it's got a pump. I'm just gonna start with one pump and we'll see how we go. Okay, first impressions, it's pretty thick. Oh, I kind of wish I hadn't chucked the box now because it probably says all the claims on it. One sec. Oh wow, okay, that's pretty good coverage. Ooh. I said that's definitely a medium to full coverage. Lightweight, buildable, skin true foundation, medium to full coverage. Apparently it's got illuminating present, uh, can I read? Illuminating, pearlescent, 
particles for a glowing skin finish. Um, I mean, so far it looks pretty matte, I'm not gonna lie. I also really need to stop saying I'm not gonna lie in all my videos because it's a really bad habit that I've got into. At least it's not as bad as Jeffree Star saying, of course. Did anybody watch his video for his, uh, what is the, the new palette? It's called like Cremated or something? Do you guys wanna see a video on that? Yes or no? Very controversial. But I watched that video and in the first five minutes, I swear he said, of course, about 50 times. No shade to Jeffrey. I just, you know, I picked up on it. I do these things too. I do quite like the finish of this foundation. It has a very, very subtle glow. I wouldn't really call this a glowy foundation. It could be because I had a matte primer on underneath um, and around my eyebrow area, it has clung a little bit. But I'm pretty sure it was the moisturiser I used because like I said, it was starting to kind of bunch up and peel a little bit. Um, but I can definitely see what it means about the kind of light reflecting particles. I don't know. I guess they are shimmers in it, but it's not like chunky glitter. It's not like the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation or anything. I'm not sure how well you can see on camera. Can you see what I mean a little bit around my brows here? But on the rest of my skin, it's looking pretty nice. And yeah, it's got that very subtle glow to it. For my concealer, I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I've got the shade Light. I actually tried this for the first time last week and I don't understand why I haven't tried this before because I really liked it. It's got a really nice, like, flexible, super flexible doe foot that feels really, really soft. To be fair, I haven't tried this with a full face. I've only really tried it on days where I'm not really wearing too much makeup, so let's see how it works on top of foundation. I really like it. It feels super lightweight. Um, it's not super, super, like, maximum full coverage, but it definitely gives a good amount of coverage, you know? So yeah, I thought that was quite a nice little find. Although you do definitely need to set it, otherwise it will crease. Under my eyes and around my nose, I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Mattifying Face Powder. The packaging of this looks so vintagey. Mine is a tiny bit broken, so I'm just gonna be careful with it. Like, it came a little bit cracked. Forgot to mention the Dermatitis slash Eczema on my eyelids has come back, which is great. This powder is really undetectable. As in, when you rub it on your finger, nothing comes off. I'm gonna use this around my nose and under my eyes. I'm not gonna set my cheeks just yet because I do have a cream product. I'm so glad that I just remembered. <laughs> that has made my under eye area look pretty airbrushed and nice. This is one of the new Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Colors. This one is in Terracotta Tan. I actually really like the Nude Sticks products for days where I'm not going too heavy with my makeup. However, these products are pretty pricey, I think for what you kind of get. But I'm gonna try this new shade. They've just launched some new shades of the bronzers and the blushes. Oh wow, that is pretty glowy. Is the lighting too bright on this video, should I? Hopefully that lighting is a bit better and I'm not quite as washed out. Well, it's definitely blended really nicely, but I think this color is a little bit too red toned for me. I think the other one that I've got, I think it might be called Beach Babe. Oh, it's called Bondi Bay. That's the other one that I use. I think that one's definitely a better colour because this one's a bit more of a red. Well, it is literally called Terracotta. Why did I not think it was going to be red? Good job, Soph. Paying attention as ever. Oh, I did just set my nose though, didn't I? You know what? That looks nice. But um, yeah, like I said, the other colour definitely works better for me, but that blended really nicely. With these products that I have literally just used once, they are going straight into a box of gently used makeup that I have decided I'm just going to start doing more regular giveaways of stuff that has literally been used once in my testing video videos and I haven't liked or haven't got on with um, because I think you know they could go to a better home rather than them just sitting in my drawer for months on end. So I will be putting these into my separate little box and then I'll probably just ask people on Twitter like does anyone want this? Then to powder the rest of my face, by the way that Too Faced uh, powder I do actually quite like. It set my eyes really nicely and made them look pretty flawless I think. I think it looks quite nice. So this is the I Heart Revolution Peach Baking Powder. I've seen Jordan talk about the coconut one, I think, but the peach one was just the slightly lighter shade and also I really like the smell of peaches, so I'm hoping that this is gonna smell of peaches. I can't really smell anything. No, I don't have Corona. I could just hear James singing next door. Is he okay? James, we can hear you singing. James? 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 Why can he not hear me? Anyway, back to my peach powder. It's got the tiniest hint of peach smell. I was kind of hoping it was gonna smell like super peachy. And it does come with a little powder puff, which you know what, I'm just gonna use it because why not? Ooh, 
Oh. Okay, actually, you know what? That's gonna take me forever. Okay, I mean, so far, I do like this powder. I do wish that it smelt more of peaches, but it is looking pretty nice. It's, oh, that was a bit much. It's definitely set my makeup in place, and I can definitely still see some of those, like, glitters from the foundation poking through. Which is weird, I couldn't really see that before when the foundation was reflecting in the light, but now that I've powdered, I can see that it's got, like, little shimmers in it. I don't have anything new in for powder bronzer, so I'm just gonna go in with my huge. I haven't actually done full glam makeup in quite a few weeks because a lot of the content that I put out like while I was moving was actually pre-filmed. Then for my blush, I've got Roxy's collaboration palette with Revolution, which is the Blush Burst Palette. If you don't know who Roxy is, her channel is Roxaurus and she has had two eyeshadow palettes with Revolution and a contour and highlight palette, I think. She's now got a blush palette and also some liquid lipsticks. This one is kind of cool in my name. It's the most peachy out of all of them. So I think we're gonna go with this one. The darkest one is this one here. And the lightest one is the one that I'm about to use. So I am going to put that on my face. They're mostly matte, but this one and this one have got tiny bits of shimmer in them. Obviously these shades over this side, I could use as eyeshadow or something, but they are like catered to more deeper skin tones. So I'm taking this color right here. Ooh, that's a pretty colour. It's just a very light, matte, peachy blush. I have put quite a lot on, but I really like that. That's a really nice colour. Oh, I forgot to put on my nose. You know what? I think my goal of this video is to try and turn myself into an Animal Crossing character because they always have super cute little button noses and blushy cheeks and I finally got on the Animal Crossing hype and I'm actually obsessed with it. It's such a cute game. I never played it when I was a child, but... I just, I, I love it. Um, I like this palette. I know that I've only tried one of the colors, but I think the range of colors in here is really nice. And well done, Roxy. This was a really affordable one. I think it was like 10 pounds for eight shades, or maybe it was even eight pounds. Right, for my highlighter, I've got the XX Revolution Exposure Highlighters. I've got one in strobe and one in focus. The packaging is so cool. This really reminds me of Kiko stuff, like Kiko packaging. I'm just gonna open the other one because I wanna see the difference. Okay, this one in focus is a lot more gold. Um, I think that's gonna be a little bit, actually, let me do a little, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Whereas this one is more pinky toned. Oh my God, these feel so nice. They feel a lot, like, I just throwing this out there, they feel a lot nicer texture than Revolution Standard highlighters. They feel a lot more smooth you know what i think i'm gonna go with the more pinky one maybe or am i gonna go for the gold i don't know i kind of want to use both of them go for the gold <laughs> go for the gold go for the gold or both you are gold. always believe in your soul you got the power to know oh indestructible always believe in that look beautiful. I'm going for the pink, just because James told me to go for the gold, so I'm gonna go for the pink. And also this is slightly more out of my comfort zone, not out of my comfort zone, but just something different to what I would normally go for. Oh, she pretty. I kind of thought this was gonna be too dark, but you know what, it's really not. That is really nice. That is really, really pretty. Gotta do the old brow bone. Gotta hit the inner corners and we've gotta do the nose. That is a nice highlighter. Love the packaging, love the fact it's got a mirror, love the like print on it and it's really nice. I don't have anything new for my eyebrows so I'm just going to fill them in as I normally would. I've got two eyeshadow palettes, which are Lottie London in collaboration with Layla Loves. Um, Layla is an Instagrammer and she also does have a YouTube channel in collaboration with her siblings, I think. But these palettes are speaking to me. At the moment, I've been loving bright eyeshadows. If you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen that. But there's the Miami palette and the Ibiza palette. You know what? I think I'm gonna go mad and use both palettes. I wanna do a purple look, but there's a really cool purple shade in the Miami palette, this purple down here but then I wanna use the matte purples from this one. I just wanna swatch that shade. Oh my God. It's like a magical shape-shifting color. Let's do a purple and orange look. That's what I'm feeling. I haven't, I don't think I've ever done a purple and orange look. You know what, these leggings are going in the wash anyway. So I'm gonna start out with this color here, which they do have names on the back, but to be honest, like I'm not that bothered by eyeshadow names. 
when they're on the back, like I'm not gonna be bothered to keep flipping it over, you know what I mean? I like how the palettes are really small and compact. It would be nice if they had a mirror though, that's my only downside to them. But I'm gonna take this orange color here. God, having cream carpets in this room is like a recipe for disaster. Wow, that's bright. We're just gonna have to ignore the dry patches on this eye. That color's nice. And then just taking this color, which is a lighter orange, and I'm gonna blend that onto the edges. Okay, I probably shouldn't have taken that other shade out so far. Wow, these are actually really pigmented. Oh my God, I did not mean to take that up to my brow bone. <laughs> And then taking the purple shade here, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid, I think, and also obviously blend it through the crease. All of the colors are quite light, as in there's not really any deep dark colors in here where you can build up the outer corner or anything like that to add depth. They're all just quite fun washes of color, but I'm not too sure how much these would show up on a deeper skin. Ooh, blending that with the orange almost goes a bit pinky. This purple color is not my favorite. When I go to try and blend it out, it's disappearing a little bit, but I'm gonna keep trying to build it. I'm just gonna dip back into a bit more of the orange. Clearly, I've just forgotten how to do makeup in this time because what is going on here? Like what? I'm gonna switch to a more flat brush. Let's see if I can pack on some more of that color. I have a feeling this probably would have worked a lot better if I'd have put down a sticky base. Let's try the purple just on my bare skin. Yeah, see, it's definitely coming out stronger just on my bare skin. So I think maybe what I should have done is put the purple down first and also put it on a base that's not set for it to show up and actually really pop. And then switching to this palette right here, which is the Miami palette, I think. And I'm gonna take the purple shade right in the middle. I'm gonna load this up on my finger. I'm just gonna pack that onto my eyelid. Ooh, that shade is pretty. But yeah, look, even just putting down that shimmer shade, it's kind of wiped off the rest of the other eyeshadows. And then I'm taking this shade here from the Miami palette, which is the one that I was kind of drawn to. It's got a blue reflex in it. And then I'm just taking a bit, little bit more of that orange to blend to my lower lash line. Yeah, I actually don't know what ha has happened to me today. I think I've just forgotten how to do makeup because now I just look like I've been punched in the face. So the dealings with these palettes, I think it would just work a lot better if you put down some kind of sticky base because I had a couple of issues of the shades like coming off as I tried to blend them. With palettes in the past that have done that, I definitely find that it works to put down a concealer or something and don't set it just so that the eyeshadows have something to stick to. Then for my eyeliner, I've got this one from Bare Minerals, which is called One Fine Line. It's a eyeliner pencil, but it is tiny. So I think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna create a wing with it, or I'm gonna try. I had a Zoom makeup masterclass with Bare Minerals the other day, which was really fun. It was kind of like a press event but via Zoom, because obviously we can't do actual events at the moment, but it was really cool. Okay, people that can do an eyeliner wing with a pencil are just elite human beings. I'm sorry, I'm switching to liquid. And then again, a mascara that I discovered during that masterclass is the Bare Minerals Lash Topia, which I've heard of, but I'd never tried it. Because to be honest with you, because Bare Minerals is such a natural makeup brand, I thought that their mascara would probably not be for me, but I never even gave it a chance. And then I tried it during that Zoom and was like, hang on a minute, this mascara is actually really good. I just think they've done a really good job with the wand. It really grips your lashes and you can really wiggle right at the root. So I'm sorry, Bare Minerals, that I doubted you. So I'm gonna go put some lashes on and then I will be back. I think I'm just gonna put on my magnetic eyelashes. Just while the glue for my magnetic, not glue, the liner for my magnetic lashes is drying, I'm gonna do my lips. So I'm using one of Roxy's Ride or Die lip collection, which is again, part of her collaboration with Revolution. These are also vegan and cruelty free. And we've got three shades and two formulas. So there's cream formula and then there's two matte formulas. Makeup Revolution's matte lipstick formula isn't my favorite, but the creams, well, to be honest, this color looks like it's most up my, up my street anyway. This one is called New York. I love the packaging, it's gold and then it's got her logo on it. This is the cream shade. Ooh, they smell nice. Ooh. 
I really like that color. And I don't believe that this formula kind of sets down to anything. I think it just stays creamy. That feels really nice. You know what though? I am intrigued to see if the formula of the matte liquid lipsticks is any different. So I am gonna try one of these. I'm actually gonna apply this with a lip brush just in case I don't want to keep it. Cause the shade does actually look quite dark anyway. Um, then I can give this to somebody else cause it hasn't touched my lips. And this one is called London. They do dry fully matte, but it's got a little bit of like a stickiness to it. It's a really pretty colour. I think what I would probably do is if I did want to wear this colour, I'd either put a bit of lip balm over the top of it, or I would go in with this shade in New York and just put this over the top to make it a little bit more comfortable. Gone a bit crazy with the overlining. <laughs> you know what, both of those together, that looks and feels really nice. So this is my face overall, kind of mixed. Um, but I do actually think the overall look looks really pretty. I think overall it looks pretty nice. Maybe the lashes are a bit much. <laughs> I actually, for my very last step, I'm gonna take my cream bronzer and I'm gonna do some freckles. Just cause I haven't done freckles in a while and I'm kind of feeling it. And we're done. I have actually been filming for about two hours. I'm just gonna find a question of the day. Today's question comes from Lily Stevens and she said, hey Soph, when do you think we might find out how much the YouTubers for NHS Heroes raised? Love you and your videos so much. That is a very good question. I actually need to get onto my management and ask how much we raised as a collective, but I can tell you now that my video in particular raised over $2,000 for the NHS, which is absolutely mad just to put that into perspective a regular kind of like video in the past couple of months in terms of adsense was anywhere between a hundred dollars and like five hundred dollars so to raise two thousand dollars from one video i think is absolutely insane that is the highest that i've ever raised from one video and obviously all of that money is going to charity and um, the reason i say dollars is because adsense works in dollars but yeah that is amazing so thank you guys so much for all of your help on that video and for watching all the adverts and obviously because i put way more adverts in that video than i would normally have um that's why it was able to raise so much money so Thank you guys. And I will definitely ask my management and see how much like as a collective everyone earned because I'm sure that they will put that out there Um, because it was going to be at the end of April, but obviously it's now nearly the end of May. So. so I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any more questions for me, please leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also, no, I haven't cut my hair. It just is in desperate need of me brushing and styling it. <laughs>